Hello everyone, welcome to PYQs. Today we are seeing bisection method using calculator. So the steps are first, if we have a calculator, we do reset our setting before we go to examination hall. We will reset our settings. Okay, in calculator, we will reset our settings. How to reset? I have told you in previous video. You can watch this. Then second is if equation involves trigonometric equations trigonometric functions then you can put the angles in radian values so here you can see this is degree so if equation involves equation involves theta then put in radian okay this is very important for calculation and third thing is use the fix fix can be used here you can see shift and go to setup here you have you can see fix so if it Question gives you to find out the uh, root of a given equation up to six decimal places. So you go to the fix, and here it will ask zero to six. So click six. So now our calculation will be fixed to six significant figures. So these are the steps. First of all, set up our calculation and calculator tricks. Now we'll go to find out how we can solve any question related to bisection method. First of all, we assume, assume two values. So two values are assumed. Like in bisection method, two values are assumed. Then we'll find midpoint and midpoint. And these two values are like FA and FB. Two values are assumed such that FA is less than zero and FAB is greater than zero. And at midpoint, we'll find, suppose midpoint is C, we find FC and check if FC is greater than zero, then we'll replace C, we'll replace B by C. And if FC is less than zero, we'll replace A by C. So this is bisection method in sort. So you need to know this before we'll solve bisection method. So let's, let's assume a question. So in last, in previous videos, we know about questions such as suppose question given by bisection method solve, find out the root of this equation x log 10x equals to 1.2 up to six decimal points. So, you know, we have fixed our calculator to six decimal points. Now, what we, we can do? when we get this equation first step is to find out the real root if you do not know how to find out the real root we have uh, made a video on this to find out real roots directly so since we know the real roots are around 2. Point, and in previous video we have found find out 2.74064 this is the real root we have found in previous video you can watch this how to find directly now we know that we have to assume two values. Now you can assume two values as let, let me assume a equals to two and b equals to three. Now first step in bisection method is to assume some values in between which root lies. You can see this, the root lies between 2.76 and this is two and three. Now we'll find the value of functions. Let this function fx write it like this x log 10x minus 1.2 so this function value of f a here you can see value of f a and value of f b so we need to find value of f a and f b here we can uh, how we can find out using calculator we'll first of all we'll write equation i've written x then log then alpha x and how to write equation you have seen in my previous videos. So this is minus 1.2. After this, directly plus calculate. It will ask about at which value you want to find out the equation of uh, the given function, what I have typed here. So I press two and then equals two. I can see that this is coming as minus 0.59, which is less than zero. Okay. Now next step is again calculate. If you place calculate again, it will ask at which value of x. Now again, I'll put three and then press equals two. I'll get plus. It is approx 0.23, which is greater than zero. Now we know one thing that if, if I'll get 
mid point i i have to calculate ca plus b by 2 then if i'll then i'll have to calculate fc if fc will be less than 0 then we'll replace what we'll replace a by c if fc is greater than 0 i'll have to replace b by c so this is bisection method so what we need to write in the examination we have just find out what are the initial values that is a equals to 2 and b equals to 3 and this is the values at fa and fb now what what i'll write in calculator let me make this calculator at on stage now what i write in calculator in calculator i'll write multiple statement how to write multiple statement we need to use this collector you know this colon is used so first of all i write c equals to a plus b this is the, this is the trick how to calculate this c equals to a plus b c log 10c minus 1.2 now this this will be written in calculator how i'll write this in, in calculator i'll show you and then we know that if fa what means if fc less than 0 then a will be replaced by c and if fc is greater than 0 we know that b should be replaced by c okay so these are the things you need to remember now we'll start from here now we'll first of all i'll write this in calculator like take alpha c then put equals to this equals to cal c then here it is fraction then you'll write a then you'll write plus again you'll write b and go downwards and write 2 now go side and now you can see alpha and this integration integration wale part ke upar jo colon wala symbol hai wo aap dabao this is called connector now for multiple statement we use these connectors okay now again i'll write c log so what what will happen from this you learn just wait a minute wait to complete this video so this is c and then minus 1.2 okay so i have done this this is all i have now i will write the initial points so i'll make a table like a be the initial point b be the initial second initial point c will be the mid point that is a plus b by 2 okay and fc will be the this and here here i can write operation so operation will be what what value of c which value from a and b we need to replace replaced by c so let's see so we know that value of a is initial value is 2 b is 3 now to calculate c i need not to 2 plus 3 by 2 directly we can calculate but here you can see in calculator after typing the equation we need to press cal c now it will ask the initial value of a so put 2 press equals to it will ask initial value of b put 3 press equals to now you can see it is 5 by 2 you can take decimal value by s implies d symbol so you can write 2.5 you can see here c is 2.5 then press equals to you'll get this fc that is minus that is c log c 1.2 as minus 0.20 and you can see this is less than less than 0 so this is less than 0 when fc is less than 0 what we'll do we perform a a to be replaced from c now value of c to be replaced in a and 3 should be as it is now for next again we'll press cal c in calculator again it will ask the value of a so value of a is c as you know it from here you directly write from alpha and c you write directly c then press equals to b should remains 3 now again then c will comes out 11 by 4 that is in decimal part you will get 2.75 so here you can see that you are directly accessing the values of c and again you will press equals to you will get the value of c log c as 0.008165 
so this is greater than zero and you know here we have this these calculator values what i have written you need not to write this in examination you directly write the algorithm and then you directly uh, do this write this table okay so here you can see b is b will be replaced from c now in place of b we will write 2.75 and a should be same now again go to the calculator press cal c you can see value of a is 5 by 2 that that should remain and again press equals to b the value of b should be replaced by c so go to alpha and press c press equals to you can see the value of c as 2.62 so we get 2.625 and next what we'll do we'll press equals to then we'll get this minus 0 0.099 so it is less than 0 again you know a should be replaced by c now replace the value of a from c that is 2.625 and this will be remain same you need to write this table in examination now again press cal c we know that we have replaced a with c so go in place of a write c alpha and c will written c equals to then b equals remain same equals to c will become 43 by 16 that is 2.6875 so you can see that the the process remains very easy if we, we use calculator efficiently by using multiple statement you can see this is negative this is less than zero so you could you again write a is less than c so a sorry a will be replaced by c now replace a with the c 2.6875 c b will remain same and again you need to calculate this so a is replaced by this now you press cal c a should be replaced by c so alpha c and then press equals to b remains same and then 87 by 32 that will be in decimal form 2.71875 so you will write here 2718750 you can see this this is just we have fixed six decimal places because it is given in question right up to six decimal places so again you will calculate fc as minus 0 0.019 this is less than zero now you can see again less than zero so a is replaced by c so in this way you can continue and next value will be i'll write the values of c i have calculated so it will be 2.734375 next will be 2.742188 Next will be 2.738281. Next will be 2. Point, so in this way, if you function more, next will be 2.740234. Uh, and next will be, you can see still we are not getting same value. Next will be 2.741211. And next will be 2.741211. So these two values will remain same after which iteration 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 10 and 11 iteration will be same so here you can write answer the root will be that is 2.741211 so here you can see this is approximately near the real root which we have calculated you need you need not, not to write this real root and these equation there you need to write algorithm and that directly write this table so and one thing more that if you have seen if we have taken this 2 and 3 a little better like if we have taken 2.6 and 2.7 then we would have started with this uh, uh, a and b at fifth state so we would have reached here in five iteration so that that is how the uh, solving actual roots give you the idea what to take the initial values and what to how to get the correct solution so this is here I have explained you about bisection method how we have done I'll, I'll not repeat again because uh, you can see this video if you, if you do not understand it properly. So that is all in this lecture. Please share this video and like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.